Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cassandra and today I'm gonna to be going through our budget with you and I'm gonna be doing the 100 envelope challenge. Now I'm doing these things a little bit differently. We do have a cashless budget, so I am just transferring whatever I pick into a different account. And I have about four different accounts to organize our funds because like I said, we do use a cashless budget. We put everything on credit um, so that we can get the points. We use PC points and it, it equates to about like $1,000 in points a year, which is great for free. So, <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and um, get started. I'll just let you know that I am here in Yellowknife, Northwest Territories, Canada. That's where I am for reference for you. This is in Canadian dollars, of course. I'm just gonna be going through our first paycheck. Now, um, October is a three paycheck month for us. We get paid on Fridays. So I have allotted a bit more money into some categories here, as you'll see. This on this side right here is our monthly income. And the only thing I don't share are our savings so that you don't know our exact income, but I'm gonna be going through what we're working with, with you. So everything except the savings, which is going to be 2,500, um, this paycheck. Now we're gonna have about, so we're gonna have this paycheck for the first, we're gonna have a slightly lower one in the middle, and then we're gonna have a one that's about like this again at the end of the month. So in the middle of the month, I do do these videos every paycheck, so every two weeks. Um, so go ahead and subscribe if you're new here and you're interested to see how I break down our budget every two weeks. I also show you our grocery haul, what we do with our food budget. Also follow me on Instagram because I do little updates on there as well if you're interested in life um, in Yellowknife, like living up here in Yellowknife and uh, homeschooling and other things. Like I was saying, what I'd like to do is take these monthly bills and split them in half so that I can do half for one paycheck, half for another. But this month is gonna be a little bit different. I am gonna be splitting a lot of them in half, but one of the paychecks will go mostly to this homeschool funds. And I get these reimbursed, but once I get them reimbursed, I put them right in our savings account. They're actually going right in our account for our Disney trip. Um, so that it, yeah, then it's already fully paid for basically by these reimbursements. So that's what that's about. So let's go ahead and get started. I don't think I have anything else to tell you. Just make sure you give this a thumbs up if you like this video. Let's go through, these are the variable things and that's where I will be taking this um, hundred envelope challenge from. I'm gonna be picking two numbers today. And so we'll do that maybe after we do our things that are always the same. So we're gonna go ahead and do rent Rent is very expensive up here. We're gonna be doing half of that, which is 1,050. Half of our internet, which is also pretty expensive, <laughs> but half of it is 75. Our student loan payment has been decreased because of some grants we've received. So it's now just $74 for half of it, which is great. Fast offering is something we pay to the church. It's $25 and that it just goes to people in need that are local to us. So if the church knows of anyone in our ward, for example, um, or anyone in the community, whatever it might be that might need some extra help this month, then that's what that money goes toward. So half of that is $25. My phone is the same as Chris's. They are both $35. Um, so we're gonna do half of that. Well, half of them are $35 and the full bill is 70. We've got our electric bill, which does vary, but I find if I budget 200 each month, that it is mostly covered. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more, and so it kind of balances out in the end. If I do need to pull out more from the next paycheck for this bill, then I will. So next we've got our sinking funds, and that's $400. I redid it and realized I did it wrong last time, and so $400 will make up for my error, but what I'm doing is I have a separate account for the, the sinking funds. So first, let me explain my accounts. First, I have an account for all of the regular bills coming out, paychecks going in, bills going out, goes in the first account. The second account is the sinking funds account, and that is for things that come up each month sorry, that don't come up each month that are kind of special events. For example, Halloween, like different holidays, or maybe car insurance, stuff like that comes out of the sinking fund. So that's just variable bills basically. And that kind of builds up or I pull from it depending on what we have in the month. This month I'm going to possibly be pulling some Christmas money from that. Uh, but that's it. So that again, just sits there. I pull from it or I don't. And so when bigger bills come up like car insurance, the money is already there in the account. 
So $400 for that. And then now we've got our variable things. So we'll go ahead, I'll write envelope challenge here. I forgot to do that. And we will pull our numbers for this. I almost always pull it from food. But let's see what we've got today. All right. Oh, looks like I pulled out two, so that's great. <laughs> let's go ahead and see what they are. Oh, 80. That's a big one. And it's stuck. It's really stuck. Here we go. Oh, and five. Well, that balances out. So I'll, I'll um, so 80 and five. So I will take you back to my little tracker. There we go. And we'll color them in here. So we've got 80 and five. And what I'm doing this, this is the last account that I have. Oh, sorry, the third account I didn't explain. The third account is our savings for regular things that we may pull from. So for example, we're saving for a Disney trip, that's in there. When we were saving for the boat, that was in there. We're sa when we're saving for a house, that's in there. We're just starting to save for a house. So that is that account. And then this account that all this money is going into is the last account. And this is a fund that we never touch. I want this to be a real emergency savings that we're gonna just kind of build slowly. I would eventually like to have three months of savings in this account. So yeah, that's what this is. And, it, and I figured out that if I pull two a week uh, or two a paycheck, I should say, I'll have $5,000 in two years, which isn't much, but it's better than what we were doing before. So let's flip back to our month right now we need to take away $85 so um, let's go to I, I'm, I'm gonna pull it from food I, that's just the easiest way for me to do it so we're gonna go a hundred from savings not savings for spending or maybe I could pull some of it from spending hmm I can always, yeah, no, I'll, I'll keep this the same. So we've got 100 for spending. That's things like if I need household items, uh, whatever it might be. Car, I've increased this month and I want to keep it the same because I want to be able to save some aside from gas. When I did 200 last month, I only used it for gas and I didn't have any leftover for repairs. And we do need to repair our windshield. You know, I want to have some money for if we need things like oil changes or toes in the winter, which is coming up. So... I do want to keep this at 200. I also need this homeschool funding right now. So I'm going to keep that and that would have been 106. And so I'm going to pull it from the food, which would have been 500 and now is going to be, oops, not five, my bad, 415. And so that's what I will use for food. This includes restaurants and groceries. This includes, like I just told you, car maintenance and gas. And I think that's it. I think I've explained everything. I'll, let me know, of course, in the comments below if you do have any questions about my budget at all, and I'd be happy to answer them for you if I didn't explain something properly or whatever. <laughs> you know, I get sort of like jumbled up in my head when I'm doing these sometimes. So uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments below. And I think that's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you're watching and you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.